Hey everyone, I'm Yvonne Fisher, instructor. Welcome to C Math 107. That's uh, C for Clippers. It's an accelerated class where you do Math 95 and 107, hopefully in one term. There is an option to just do the Math 95 if things are going a little too fast and you don't want to do the accelerated version. Give it a few weeks and see how it goes. Um, I'm going to run you through some of the things to get started, although you can just read through um, at your own pace. I recommend that. Just go back through. So I'll try to keep this quick. A few things just to note when you click on your home page, you will see all these um, announcements. It'll just be the three recent ones. There's a to-do list over here, but just ignore that. Um, it doesn't give you all the information you want to work from your home page or in your modules. So how to start, you're going to click the getting started module and work in sequence. You also have access to your uh, syllabus, your outline, your books and workbook, calculators, uh, review materials from here as well. As the uh, course goes on, like next week, probably I'll shrink this stuff up because you will have seen it and don't need access to it anymore, but you will have your first week's link, your second week's link, and so on from your outline in there. So I'm actually going to um, show you how you could, you could click here and get into the getting started. It'll bring you right to it. Or you can actually scroll up and see other things. You can always just click modules to get to this page. We do work in modules. But do check out your home page, you know, to see if I've added anything. Um, and as the course goes on, it gets pretty long on the modules. And um, so it's good to see the home page. I really do link you just right to the module you need for that week. If you are done with things, just collapse them. I like to keep things, you know, shrunk up. Um, your course outline, I'm going to right click and open that so you can see it. And that gives you your scope and sequence for the course. And this is what I'll just put like the headers on the home page for you to click on and get, get where you need to go. Um, so if you are in a fully online class, you'll be doing activities and things on your own, uh, lessons and everything around videos for both the online and hybrid, but, video, but the activities for the hybrid we do together. So this video is for both types of courses. So you can see where there's some overlap, like measurement and unit conversions that overlaps with um, 107, but it's kind of a 95 we do some, but then I do bring in the 107 as well. So giving you background skills, refreshing um, on back math things that you may have forgotten about and such before you do the 107 work. So it's pretty integrated. Uh, and if that's just too much, too intense, um, then let me know early on. I mean, give it a try, but we can just do a single track Math 95, which goes at a much slower pace. Um, you can get to back to your modules here, or I could have just gone over to this other tab again. I like to keep my outline open. Syllabus, make sure you read that. Materials are all here. If you haven't looked at them, you might want to check them out. I do not recommend printing out everything. Um, there is a printed version of the book you can read about and get, but you don't need to do that. Everything's inside your uh, assignments that you need. And there's some review videos, some practice. That's extra credit. And here's the getting started module. And you won't really be able to access anything else like this down here, the first week of math content, until you do this getting started module. And it's really important you work in sequence. Okay, so you're going to click there and just read all the directions. You know, it's, it's a lot of reading, but make sure you go through and check it out. So it, this one's the online asynchronous class with the hybrid. We meet um, every Tuesday at 12.40, so if you're in that class, rest assured we will meet up and work through activities and then do some, you know, homework help. But your lessons are online in the videos, just the same way as the fully online class. So you can click next to get to the next page. 
And then here's course setup. Just read through that. It just gives you some tips. Now, sometimes there's a task to do here, like Mark is done, and that gives you a check mark. If you have to leave this, you can. You can go ahead and do that. This is just my um, how to contact. So I'm going to click over to modules. I have to leave it. I'm going to collapse everything. I already looked at that. So now I'm going to open up this. I go do something and come back. I can see, oh, I've already done these tasks. Now I'm going to go to the next one and work through that. This is my open math and you can click start. Um, it's not late, so we don't need to enter a late pass, but you can skip around in that if you choose to, or just go in order and just follow the directions, enter your answers. This is just a, a tutorial on how to enter answers. So then I'm going to click next and that one won't let me go through. So I go back to the link. I read what it, the prompt, and it tells me I actually needed to click Mark is done. And that is a little tricky for these because it's up in the corner, but that's because you can go in and out of it. So I want you to get in the habit of marking it when you're all done. Um, I'm not going to go through it do them all, but you, you would do that. And then mark is done. This is Desmos, your free online calculator. There's a scientific calculator and a graphing calculator. You can put them on apps in your phone. This is your um, syllabus quiz. I'm just going to click and open it. I have to actually submit this one is the task and let me get a zero, but I just want to move through it and you can get um, multiple tries. So now I can scroll back down and click next. Notice I'm working in sequence and I just suggest you just take like maybe this will take you a half hour to an hour and just get this all done so that you can access your content. Here's your bio. Um, I think it starts with mine here. If anybody else has started that. Um, so I am going to go up to modules just because I don't want people seeing what people wrote in different classes. So that one, I actually have to go ahead and um, submit something to move on contribute to it. And then, um, the next thing is, so then you would do that and get through. And then here's some tips on how to upload scanned work. And here's some frequently asked questions. Next, you're going to get to your, um, content and you can see in gray, you don't have access yet because we haven't, or I don't as the test student, because I haven't filled in all my bubbles. I don't have a check up here. So you would need to do that to go through. And then just go ahead and follow all the directions and the prompts. If you get stuck, just let me know and I can help you with that. Um, I do want to point out the grade book because we have two courses in one. The math 95 average is based all on points and you can find out what that is. This is all math 107 stuff. When you, we, level change you when you when you get this when you're done um right now there's only 17 points worth of stuff to do i think it might be um you know just some basic stuff but if you um look here and this is holding at a 72 percent or above i really think i usually do like uh, if you're close at a 70 um and you're doing good with your midterm and final then I'll level change you up and then you'll start seeing these categories fill up. Um, you might see a little of that along the way, but um, for things like measurement and such. But um, at first I try to just get everything in that Math 95. There's some extra credit here. If you choose the Math 95 standalone version, your average will be here. Okay. So I hope that helps you figure out how to work your grade book. Um, if you're ever unsure if you're passing or not, then just, you know, email me and I can go through it. We can always zoom. 
One thing I want to show you too is like say this activity, we can open it up even though we can't access it yet, we, we could open it from here, but we don't have access yet. But you just want to comment. You want to say something about this. Um, you know you're going to need some help or you have a question. You can, from your grade book, add in a comment without actually submitting anything yet. Okay, just want to show you that if you're not sure how that works. And then you can always get back to the home page or modules. Those are what you'll use most. Okay, sometimes discussions, it's easy just to go in that way. That's up to you. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or you need a video on something else more specific. I do have a run through of how the um, my open math works and how to insert images right here in your announcements. Sometimes I track those things. So I'll add to that. So let me know if you need, you know, some extra help. And here's tutoring services. And here's just a little welcome message for me. So have a great day.